It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be talking about temperature change as we solve a real-world math problem. Here's our question today. One evening, the temperature decreased by 5 degrees Fahrenheit during the first hour after sunset, and then decreased by 2 degrees Fahrenheit each hour for the next 7 hours. The temperature increased by 14 and a half degrees Fahrenheit the next morning and then decreased by 11 degrees Fahrenheit that afternoon. We're asked to select from the drop-down menus to correctly complete the sentence about the total change in temperature. And here's our sentence that we're going to correctly complete. The temperature, and here's your drop-down box, I'm showing you both because you can't interact with the video. If you drop down on the test, it would say increased or decreased, and you're going to pick one. So the temperature increased or decreased by a total of, and you're given four numerical values to pick from. So here's where you're going to pause the video. You're going to do your best work, and then you're going to come back to check your solution. Good luck. Welcome back. So let's review everything that's been provided to us in the problem. We know that it began by decreasing five degrees. That was the first hour. Then it decreased two degrees each hour for seven hours. Then it increased another 14 and a half degrees and increased again by 11 degrees. So we're going to put these all together. So let's make a list and we're going to find that total change. So our first net, um, temperature, it decreased by five degrees. So we're going to mark that with a negative number. So negative five degrees, it dropped. So whatever the temperature was, which we don't know, it dropped five degrees. So you would subtract five or represent that by a negative five. Our next is it decreased by two degrees each hour for seven hours. So decreased means it dropped or a negative two. And it did this seven times because it did it every hour for seven hours. Negative two multiplied by seven is negative 14. So now we know the first drop was negative five in that first hour, and then the next seven hours, it dropped a total of 14 degrees. Now we're gonna go and increase. Our next one was increased by 14 and a half. So that's gonna be add 14.5 or a positive 14.5. And then we had another increase of 11 degrees. So we're gonna represent that by the positive value as well. So now, to find the total amount of change, I have four times, four different values here that it changed, either increasing or decreasing. So what I'm gonna do is add these all together, find the sum or the total change. So I'm gonna group them. I'm gonna add my negative values, negative five and negative 14 are negative 19. So when they have the same sign, you just add the values, add the absolute values and keep the sign. So same thing here, these are both positive values. So we're gonna just add these two numbers together and that will be a positive amount of change. So 14 and a half plus 11 is gonna be 25 and a half and that's positive. So now I'm not done because I have to combine my positives and my negative values. So I can see here that my positive values are larger than my negative values. So I can already tell that once I add these, because the larger absolute value is positive, that my sum, when I add these together, is gonna to be positive. So I can tell that my total change is gonna be positive, meaning I already know half of my answer. The temperature will have increased. So now, our rules for adding two different signed number values is we're gonna take the larger absolute value and we're gonna subtract the smaller absolute value. So 25 and a half subtract 19, we're gonna line up our decimal points. Five subtract zero is five, bring down your decimal point. And then 25 subtract 19 is six. Or you could borrow from the two, cross that out and make it a one, and you would have 15 subtract nine, which is also six. So we know that our total change is a positive six and a half degrees which is right here, our first answer choice in the drop-down box. So we can now say that the temperature increased by a total of six and a half degrees Fahrenheit. And that is how you calculate temperature change over a period of time. 
and we reviewed adding like numbers with the same sign and unlike signed numbers. Thank you for joining me at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and come back soon.